Hi, welcome back for the next part of the assignment, which is to control six light using cascading technique, cascading timer techniques. So it states that we need to alter our previous program or rewrite a program to control six lights and it is tempting to use six timers for this task but uh, the job can be done with just four timers and you will end up with much cleaner program as a bonus viewers uh, as far as long as I see this job can be done with only three timers uh, including word compare instructions basically we need to follow this table sequence timing sequence table for first 12 seconds red one will be on and uh, green 2 amber 2 will be on for 8 and 4 se first 8 and second 4 second respectively uh, I re I mean I'll summarize it again for first 12 second a red one LED will be on and green 2 for first eight second of the timer and then uh, for next four second amber two will turn on but for the whole 12 second of the timer of one red L red uh, indicator will remain on at the other end we will use another timer uh, timer one for eight second to turn on green one and uh, um, for uh, and uh, to keep on at the same time red 2 and then we will use another timer timer 2 which will make sure red LED is also on red 2 indicator is also on and uh, amber 1 is on as well so let's try with this implementation get new file click on my collage 1000 click ok I click on it Let's switch the panel, bring up three timer, one, two, three. There's a third one. Third one, okay. Let's configure all of the timers first. Timer one, timer zero. Let's give it a timer one. Let's give it a name timer one. And give it a name timer two. And give it a name timer three. Okay. So set it on 120 which correspond to 12 second then set it for 80 for 8 seconds then set it for 40 for 4 seconds now place runs quickly 3 4 runs ok I think we don't need delete, delete, delete. Okay. then for the first timer take it on the first run here then bring one more rung over here and take one examine if open and t4 and t4 is timing time one is timing and it is not done yet then it should turn on that one indicator yeah but at the same time it has to make sure these uh, Red 2 is not on. Okay, one thing, red 2 and red 1 cannot be on together. So let's make it sure like this. And when this one is on, there should not be any other indicator. There should not be on any other indicator. Last place. Okay, so let's place two more. Examine F close, open button. This and this. Okay, this will make sure. Uh, this red one had it symbol said red one indicator will remain on for 12 seconds okay let's bring up another rung over here and again I need to make sure this timer one is timing and it's did not read to is compare yeah less than an equal then and it is timing and we need to turn on another indicator green for for first eight seconds so timer for one dot 
character value we need to read. And for fast, 8 second, 80, if it is less than and equal, then, then turn on what? Green 2. Green 2, which is connected at the address 0206. Uh, added its symbol, say green 2. Okay. At the same time, we need to make sure green 1 and green 2 are not on at the same time. So let's place this and drag and hold and drag this one. Another one, the, this red indicator on the same side is not on. Let's give it a name like true. Alright, and then O2, O2, what is O2? O2 is a green one, right? Let's add it a symbol green one. Green one. And amber one. Amber one. So green, okay, it's a green one, not green. Okay, so green one is not on, red two is not on, then another one is amber on the same side. Amber two is not on. Let's add it as symbol as well. Amber two. Okay. Place another one for amber light for s next four seconds. We need to bring greater than an equal instruction. Prior to that, we need to make sure time one is timing. So a bit here and bring it down here, and it should be what timer one should be. Should timer well, timer one accumulator value should be greater than eighty. If it is greater than 80, then it should turn on amber 2. Amber 2, okay, sorry, amber 2. Amber 2. But green 2, make sure green 2 is not on. Make sure red 2 is not on on the same side. Okay, at the same time, when amber 2 is on, uh, I think we don't need to further. Okay, now bring for next. Okay, we are done with the first column, and let's program for the next column and configure to another timer. Okay, when the timer one is, let's trigger this timer two to start its timing. When the timer one is done with its timing, okay. So bring up condition when timer one is done with this timing then then this should be okay then this should be then this timer two should start as timing okay one this timer two is timing okay and but not done yet so change it to this and click on true when it is timing okay let's take this one to this one not to get confused okay when timer 2 is timing then green 1 okay green 1 um, green 1 which is connected 0202 green 1 should turn on and uh, we need to make sure amber light is not on the same side and red light is not on on the same side oh sorry these two should be here right one why bring it here then bring it here okay and one the timer timer two is done with this timing then it's uh, trigger up timer three Okay, and then when timer three is timing, okay, and timer three is timing but not done yet, it should lit up amber. Amber, which amber it is? Mm. Second, 
this is amber 2 then this should be amber 1 okay so amber 1 ah man this is annoying so amber 1 amber 1 here it is amber 1 should turn on but green should not be on by the time okay and red on the same side should not be on at the same time okay so okay when these two are timing and let's bring up the only remaining part is the red two so this one is running for eight seconds this one is running for four seconds so we need to keep our red light on when red light on when this timer is timing okay which is timer two it is timing but not done yet okay so bring up another timer another examine if open contact and read the flags when timer 3 and timer 2 are timing then red 2 should turn on and we have to make sure red 1 is off at the same time okay so when this is done when this loop is done we should reset our timers let's bring the last run when timer 3 is done the last timer which is this one is done with this timing it should reset all timers and start the loop again so we have three timers need to be reset when okay so one more branch over here so place three reset instructions Timer one, timer three, let's change from flag to timer address. Timer one, okay. All three timers are re will be reset at the when, when the controller will be executing the last run at this last scan okay that's all about the last uh, second part of the assignment let's pro download program it give it a try okay as we can see red light is on and green light is on at the other side so it's allowing to pass from one side okay yeah it's working fine it seems like it's working fine It's absolutely right. It's working fine. As we were, as you have seen, that we have done with three timers. We got this job done with three timers only, and we introduced uh, hard compare instruction into our data logic program. That's all about. Thanks for watching. I hope you would have enjoyed it. Let's stay tuned for the next part.